Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we are going to be comparing the Aquion 14 gallon cube to the innovative, innovative marine uh, 10 gallon cube here. So there are two major differences between these tanks that we can't really compare in this video. That is that the uh, innovative marine tank here is an all-in-one. It has a filter in the back. So an all-in-one is going to have um, the whole filtration system built into the aquarium. It's got the pump built into there, all your chambers for carbon, biological media, heaters, protein skimmers, that kind of thing. So we can't really compare that aspect of these two tanks. Um, we can discuss it towards the end though. So right now the 14 gallon cube uh, is housing all of our platies and things like that. If you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, you've seen this innovative marine tank. This has been my saltwater tank for years. Um, and then just the past year or two, I took it down and, and have just been storing it. So it should be a pretty fun video to compare these two because the first thing I wanna talk about is the glass. So the Aquion glass is really thin. It's probably half the thickness, maybe a little more than half the thickness of the Innovative Marine Tank. The Innovative Marine Tank, like it's thick. It's like a quarter inch thick. Where the Aquion is thin, like just, it's just thick enough to feel like a fish tank. Like if this was any thinner, I would be very worried. <laughs> Even this thin, it, it freaks me out a little bit because it's so thin that if you were to chip the Aquion on the corner, I feel like it would go through more than half the glass. And usually when it comes to aquariums, if there's a chip that goes through more than half the glass, I'll, I'll just change aquariums because that's too risky for me. Um, the next thing to note is the silicone. So the Aquion uses a very thin bead of silicone. It's clear. It's a clear, thin bead of silicone. The Innovative Marine is using a black silicone, but the Innovative Marine has a very fine detail. Like a, So take for granted, this tank is like three or four years of, of use on this guy. So this uh, silicone is really eaten up. I, I honestly just need to re-silicone this one myself. Um, and maybe that can be a video that might be kind of fun. So this tank though, the Innovative Marine, the silicone looks like they had some sort of system to make sure the edges are perfectly clean, maybe like masking tape or something like that. They've got something going on over there because this silicone, where it's maintained, like where the edge is still perfect, it is the straightest silicone bead I've ever seen. Um, this is also like a, a, quite, a, quite a lot of silicone for this uh, size tank. I mean, this is a small tank here, but the uh, amount of silicone here is a lot more than what I'm seeing on the Aquion tank here. Uh, now the next thing that compares the lids, which I, I don't actually have the Innovative Marine lid with me right now, it's somewhere in storage. The Innovative Marine comes with a mesh lid, which uh, is kind of neat. So the only bad thing I don't like about the Innovative Marine lid is that it being mesh uh, makes it very easy for water to evaporate. So you'll get a lot more evaporation on this tank with a mesh lid. So for reference, this Aquion tank has not been topped off since I took my vacation three weeks ago. And when I went on my vacation, I filled it pretty much all the way up. Um, and then I went on vacation for a week. It's been two weeks since then. And we've only lost maybe, you know, almost a half an inch of water at most. Where this tank, you'll be topping this thing off every two or three days, no problem. So just keep that in mind. Uh, as far as the saltwater tank goes, that's pretty important. The, the evaporation can be a serious issue. The next thing that I want to talk about is that they both come with foam leveling pads. Um, the Aquions was pre-applied and ready to go. You just kind of were good to go. Or at least I think it was. It might not have been pre-applied. I'd have to... It might not have been pre-applied. I can't remember. Anyways, they're both good pads. The pad on the Aquion I think is a little thinner. It feels more like what you would get yourself if you were to buy it separately. The pad on the Innovative Marine uh, was really thick when I got it. It has been obviously years of use. So the pad is really degraded at this point. It really needs to be replaced on the bottom. Hence why this tank is not being used right now. Um, but yeah, so I, I guess the next biggest thing is glass clarity. So glass clarity is obviously how easy it is to see through the glass, how, uh, you know, the, the, the clearer the glass, the more your water will just look like, the, the more your tank will look like there's just no water in it, which is really nice. So when you look at a tank from the front, you don't really, it's really hard to tell how clear it is. But if you look from the side, if it's green, then it means it's normal, just normal tempered glass. 
But if you look through the side and it's clear, that's usually an indication that it's some kind of starfire glass or some kind of fancy glass that's a lot clearer than just normal tempered glass. Now, if I look through the Innovative Marine, it's totally clear on the side. I can see right through it. And if I look through the Aquion, it's super, super green. Um, and I might be able to try and catch this on camera to put it side by side, but the Aquion looks really green. It's like a, like a jade color where the Innovative Marine is just clear all the way through. So the Innovative Marine tank is using much, much nicer glass. Not only is it thicker, it is clearer. Uh, it's gonna be easier to see through. Your tank is just gonna look better. Um, now, as far as a freshwater tank goes, that might not be that big of an issue for you. If you were doing a saltwater tank, you're trying to look at corals and invertebrates and snails and all these things, um, that might be more of a concern, uh, but to each his own, right? So the last thing uh, to compare between these tanks really is the filtration systems where this one is included and this one is not. Now, the benefit of not having an all-in-one is you could choose whatever filter you want. You could have the Seachem title on here. You could have that Fluval C3 I have over there. You could have an old-fashioned AquaClear like that one on that tank, or you could even have a canister filter that's internal like the one on my turtle tank down there. So not having an all-in-one really gives you a lot of flexibility to have whatever filtration system you want. You also get to use all that tank space for the fish. So the Aquion here is only about an inch taller and an inch wider from front to back. Uh, and the, the Innovative Marine is, is really only an inch um, smaller in total size. So the difference though is you get four extra gallons on this guy uh, and this is fully usable. Now the problem with the all-in-one I have here is the usable space inside the 10 gallon here is probably about eight gallons because I believe it is a 10 gallon tank in total, not count, like, like it, it, if you were to count, like if there was no filtration, it's a 10 gallon tank, I believe. Because I, when I used to do water changes, I would do a five gallon bucket water change and it would literally take it down until like here. Um, it was like a more than 50% water change on a saltwater tank. So keep in mind, if you don't have an all one like this guy here, you get all the tank space and you can choose whatever filtration system you want. Now, if you're doing saltwater, that could be a huge deal breaker. Because on a saltwater tank, having an, or, 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 well, having an all in one on a saltwater tank makes it so much better because you get so much more filter media. It, it's like, if I was to compare the hang on back to the all in one, I'd probably have to have at least two hang on back filters in order to even be equivalent to an all in one at all. And even then, I don't know, you know, I, I've had, I've had saltwater tanks in the past where they have been hang on backs and it was a 40 gallon and I had a 75 gallon filter on the back and it worked. The fish survived, the coral survived, but it was hard. Like you had to keep up on water changes. Um, you would probably really benefit from a protein skimmer at that point, you know, all that kind of stuff. So just keep that in mind, you know, yeah, on an all-in-one, you can really choose your filter media uh, or your filtration. I mean, like you can really choose the filter, the filter media, all that. On an all-in-one, you can still choose your filter media, but you're kind of stuck with the filter you got. And that could be, uh, you know, a good or a bad thing. Now, the next thing is in an all-in-one, you can change the pump. You can make the pump really fast. What, whatever pump you can fit in there, and you could fit probably a lot more uh, you get a lot more gallons per hour in an all-in-one if you change the pump. So that's something to consider too. And an all-in-one, I don't know if this one has it. No, it doesn't have it in there right now. This all-in-one comes as like a basket to put all your media in where, yeah, the hang-on back comes as a basket, but it's a heck of a lot smaller. Um, but other than that, they're, uh, they're pretty good tanks. I would say if I had to buy one of them, I would spring for the Innovative Marine. Um, that being said, I got a killer deal on the Aquion and Petco. I think I paid like 50 bucks or something or 45 bucks um, and they were trying to sell it for like a hundred and something uh, initially, I think. I, I could be a little off there, but uh, the Innovative Marine Tanks, I think just for the 10 gallon without the filter basket, uh, like just the 10 gallon and the pump itself, I think is a hundred, could be more depending on where you go. Um, but yeah, both great tanks. If you're on a budget, get the Aquion. Um, if you're going for freshwater, uh, I wouldn't necessarily get an all-in-one if you're going freshwater, unless you get like really touchy freshwater fish. Like if you're going for like discus or something, all-in-one's the way to go. But if you go in salt water, I would steer you towards the all-in-one all day long. Um, so that's, uh, that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully we can compare some more tanks here uh, in the future. And uh, maybe we can do a video on re-silicone in this guy soon. Um, there's going to be some new videos coming up about uh, you know this whole space changing. We're actually going to be moving homes. Um, we, we are getting a house, which is going to be awesome. Um, so we'll be leaving this place and getting our own home, which would be really cool. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Take it easy and have a great uh, day or weekend, week, whatever, wherever you are. <laughs>